Alright guys, welcome back to the Mullerwell FIFA 21 career mode. Forget what episode we're on, but it's a big one nonetheless. We're taking on Celtic, they are second in the Premiership, and we want to chase them down. We're right behind them, we're running after them as fast as we can, but our legs, our little legs, are, are, are struggling to keep up at the moment. But the gap is only 11 points, so if we can bat our Celtic today, it would obviously, for anyone that can't do maths, that would bring it down to 8. And then I think 8 is a very um, doable um, achievement. I think we can catch 8 because our form actually has been pretty good. We haven't lost since October. We're playing really, really well. Celtic's form isn't the worst. They're not doing that bad, but they have um, they have drew 5 games, which is quite a lot. But, I mean, I think at the start we all thought Celtic were going to fall apart, but they've, they've bounced back well, to be honest. They're on a good run themselves, so they are catching Rangers. Only 8 points off of Rangers, so... But we still want we still want to maybe have the outside shot each at uh, catching Celtic, so we'll, we'll try and win this. We've got a game in hand over Aberdeen. They only drew the last game, so we beat Celtic, which is a big if. But if we do it, um, we will go within three points of third place Aberdeen. So there you go. It's as simple as that. Hopefully, uh, we can just go and lay the smackdown on Celtic, as The Rock would say, and pick up maximum points. That's away from home. It's at Celtic Park. So I don't know about your COVID uh, jags, but you'll need to you'll need to make sure you're vaccinated with soap and shit before we before we head into that arena, because God knows what kind of deadly diseases you could catch. But anyway, like I said, let's go and do this. It's Celtic versus uh, Celtic versus Mullerwell. Looks like we've got some problems to take care of. We go Celtic's starting eleven. They're going with five at the back, so five three two, very defensive. Barisic in nets, Taylor, Abbe Helmadi, Julian, Bitten, Fringpong, Nicham, McGregor and Turnbull. So big Davy Turnbull getting a start up front. It's going to be Edward and Lee Griffiths. So uh, we need to be wary guys. It's definitely a strong partnership they have up there. Front two could cause us problems. We'll just need to make sure that uh, we cause them just as much and maybe even more problems. We're going with Carson in nets. Unfortunately... O'Donnell suspended for this game, so Grimshaw takes his place beside Lamey, Gallagher and Carroll. Uh, then it's Polworth, Campbell and Donnelly. And up front, I've got to go with Tony Watt. I mean, Chris Long wanted to play, but we're going to go with Tony Watt. Plus, we've got the uh, Defante Cole on the bench, and his speed is impressive. And I feel like if we bring him on late, he can have more of an impact that way rather than start him. So here we go. Celtic versus Mullerwell coming up next. Polworth through the Seedorf, right? Good chance here early on. Seedorf against Frimpong. Oh, he's spun around him. Oh, it's free Seedorf. Fantastic. And then the cross is dog shit. But we actually won the header, but that's all we win. As long as we win the game, I won't, I won't mind. We'll go Donnelly to Polworth. It's Tony Watt. Tony Watt, nice wee bit of step overs there. Still Tony Watt. Leaves it off to Donnelly. Campbell. Still Campbell. Donnelly, oh great bad play, it's through the pole, Worf, he strikes it and it's going to fall for Donnelly and he strikes it. And Barkas dives, as shit as Barkas is, even he can make that save. Donnelly, come on, Donnelly lays it off to Campbell. Campbell to Tony Watt. Oh Watt gets a wee bit of space, he shoots, strikes it, and again it's another save from Barkas. Oh, Campbell, lays it off to Grimshaw, coming in for Liam O'Donnell. Oh, Tony Watt. Ah. Oh, back to Tony Watt. Chance. Tony Watt. Oh, what a goal. Fucking Tony Watt, 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 Watt. He's done it again. And he scores against his former club. Fucking suck on those apples, Barkash, you piece of shit. Thought you, were, thought you were a tough man saving the first couple of easy shots. Well, those were just testers. We're just practicing, right? We're just testing you. That was, that was the real shot. That was the real bullet. And you took it right to the dome. You ain't getting up for that one. Mullerwell 1, Celtic 0. Tony Watt finds the back, not even the back of the net, the side of the net. That's how good he is. Tony Watt there, fucking finding the angles. Here go Polworth. We're on the attack again. Polworth has to play in Tony Watt. Oh! Tony Watt, man, 2 0. Pick it out, son, yes. Take that ball home, you. That's fucking yours. Nobody else can touch it. You're the man. Only Tony Watt gets to touch that ball. He can write whatever he wants on it. We'll probably write on it Celtic or shite. And at the moment they are. It's 2-0 Mullerwell. And we're on an absolute roll. Julian trying to pull his way behind. But nothing he can do in Barkas. 
You may as well have a fucking dummy in his mouth sucking his thumb. He ain't saving that. Oh my god, through to Seedorf. That's onside as well. It's Seedorf. Oh, he's got the man through there. He could play him in. Seedorf decides to go on his own. Oh no, but Tony Watt! Yes! Tony Watt, the hat trick. Is it on? Is it on? I think it is. It's 3 0. It's 3 0 after 39 minutes, and Tony Watt has scored again. He's, he's running away. Now he's running back. He doesn't even know who to celebrate with. They're all wanting to piece him. They all love Tony Watt here, and it's the easiest goal they'll ever score. Well, I mean, I guess the angle did get a wee bit narrow towards the end there, but I mean, Tony Watt ain't. He's got number 32 in his back, and the way he's scoring goals today, maybe score 32 here. Who knows? Barkas at this stage just wants to get taken off. I mean, send him back to Poland. The guy is the guy's had enough. Doesn't want to live in Scotland anymore. He can't take he can't take this sort of abuse. It's too much for him. Oh, here we go. Oh yes, it's Donnelly. Over up to Tony Watt for four! Yes! Oh man, I don't believe it. Why? Why why have Celtic crumbled here? I don't know, but fucking Tony Watt, we are absolutely destroying them. Tony Watt, not long back for injury. And he is absolutely destroying them. I mean he has the nerve to wear on the sponsor on the the uh, sleeve of the arm there is suicide prevention, and he's got the audacity to wear that because he's going to be he's going to be making Barkas commit suicide tonight, man. Barkas cannot handle this. This is too much for Barkas, man. He doesn't deserve this. Somebody stop the damn match for God's sake. Remove that armband. This is bullying. This is straight up bullying. Tony Watt is bullying the shit here out of Barkas. Ten goals already this season for Tony Watt. And he's been out for most of the injured, so that just shows you how well he's played this year. And there you go, half-time, referee blows the whistle. Celtic probably wish it was a full-time whistle, but they've still got another 45 minutes of this pumping to go, so it's going to be a long night for them. It's as if they fucking dropped the uh, soap in the shower and never found it, man. They're just getting bombarded here with a 12-inch Tony Watt, man. Tony Watt is doing the damage. I don't even think this damage is going to be fixable. Nine shots on Celtic yet to get a shot, man. Oh my god. I know I said we're playing well with Mullerwell, but I was not expecting this. I was expecting a hard fought match, and hopefully I was trying to go and we we're going to try and get the victory, but I mean, at the moment, we're absolutely walking this. Oh no, it's went through. Oh, and Celtic get one back, and it's lucky. It's very lucky. They got a lucky deflection there. It's Nincham with the goal. Him and Edward linking up together, but. Ah, it's, it's luck, it really is. It's a first goal, you can see it, I mean, it took a deflection, we're actually defending alright here. We get the block almost, but it still runs through to him. But ah, well, still, we're still leading 4 1. We don't sweat it. Carroll through to Tony Watt. Tony Watt trying to hold up the play, is there anyone making the run in? He's going to try and find Polworth, who finds Donnelly, who almost found the back of the net, but Farkas, for the uh, first time this season, touching a ball. I mean, he wouldn't make a good game, man, because he's fucking hardly touched any balls this match. They've all hit the back of the net. Hopefully he's straight for his for his uh, chances of success. But anyway, here we go. Corner coming in for Donnelly. It's whipped in towards Gallagher. The big man got something on it, but no enough. That's terrible for Barkas. Right, here we go. Polworth. He's going to flick it up. Polworth! Oh, that's what happens when you get too confident. You forget that you're... You're playing with Mullerwell players, this isn't Real Madrid, you can't really score goals like that with this team. Well that has to be offside, no? I can't believe that's counting, maybe a Celtic comeback's on here, I cannot believe that is the offside. This time it's Edward with the goal, but... If we get, do we get VAR? Does VAR not work? Can Scotland not afford VAR? Are we too busy fucking spending it on... Battered Mars bars. Well, well that, ain't, that angle ain't going to tell shit. That angle, you know, is as, but as useless as fucking Barkas and Nets. Well, there you go, it's 4 2. Apparently, we don't get a replay for the angle I want. It's 4 2, and we need to accept it. Accept it, guys. Felt like of two goals. We ain't taking off an answer. So, Elds and Eduardo coming through. What is this? Why can't we do anything here? Why are we falling apart? Oz and Edward just takes Grimshaw out the game. Nincham trying to get back in. Good defending though. And here we go, yes. This is it. 
Tony Watt making the run. Tony Watt's through. Yes, Tony Watt. Can he make it five? He does. Tony Watt there squashes any chance of a Celtic comeback. Tony Watt scores five goals here. And jump. Oh, my God. He almost broke his neck. Jesus Christ. Call an ambulance. 999. Tony Watt. It's going to be it for another three months. And he'll still score more goals than Edward and Morelos combined. What a guy. Boom. 5-2. Well, that was out. That was well out. How the hell's that not been given out? McGregor uh, trying to get one more back for Celtic here, but ain't going to happen because Tony uh, Gall Declan Gallagher's the man. Declan Gallagher. What a guy, even though the pass was a bit shit. And Celtic get one more back, so there you go. Celtic trying to get back in this, but ain't going to happen. I mean, we've been dominant. We took our foot off the gas second half, and that is the only reason why Celtic are, are coming back here. Had this been, I truly believe, had it been closer, we'd have just, you know, ran away a bit, but you do get complacent. They have scored as Al Jetty. I don't think they're going to get any more, though. That's offside again this time. Oh, he's kept it in. Carson, though, makes a great save, and that'll do it. Surely we get it away. It's cleared up, and that's it, guys. We're beating Celtic at Celtic Park only the second time they've lost all season. I'm not sure. I think it was Rangers who inflicted the first one. We've inflicted the second one. There's Tony Watt getting the match ball there. Uh, we substituted him off. What a guy, man. What a guy. Six attempts, five goals against his former club. I mean, maybe he was one of the players that they touched back in the 70s. I know he's, he'd be uh, probably <laughs> too fucking young for that, but maybe that's him getting his revenge. He's like, fuck, don't touch me, a bunch of nonce, pedo bastards. And he's like, that's what I'll do. You touch me, I'll touch the back of the net. Boom. Someone rings suicide prevention, by the way, for Barkas, because he's had a tough night here. And uh, my thoughts go out to Barkas, because that was bad. But look at that, there you go. I mean, complete domination. Celtic, when they did get chances, and they didn't get many, let's be real, but when they did, they actually took them. So fair play to them for being clinical. But we dominated that game from start to finish, and we thoroughly deserved the win. And I'm glad we got it, guys. Tony Watt got a 10-point uh, match rating. What else would he get? Come on. I think he should got 11, to be honest, but nah, he only got 10. You know what? I don't make the rules. Or else I would have gave him fucking 11, 12, 13, 14. Fuck, he could have had 14 goals today. That's how good he was. But uh, we'll, we'll settle, guys, for what we got. Because what, what we got was pretty good. St. Johnson, unfortunately, won. So they stay above us, which kind of sucks. I would have liked to have moved up the table with a win like that. That sort of performance, I think, deserved to get his moving up the table. But it doesn't. We remain in fifth place. Although we are pulling away from the guys behind us, which is good. But we're not really looking at the guys behind us. We're more focused on the guys in front. Now, us... St. Johnson and Aberdeen have all won eight games. That's why it's so close. They've got Aberdeen on 30, St. Johnson 28, us on 27. That win has closed the gap to Celtic a wee bit. So, who knows? Maybe we can even catch them. But Rangers look too good at the moment. They're undefeated so far after 17 games. I don't think they'll look like losing any time soon. But speaking of a team that hasn't lost any time soon, that is us, guys. We haven't lost in almost two months now. So, we are looking pretty good. Let's continue that momentum as we take on Ross County here. And let's bag another three points in Dingwall. Alright guys, so here's the team that we're using against Ross County. Even though we beat Celtic, got to make a couple of changes. Nothing to do with performance. Just want to try and keep players fresh. Try and rotate the squad and just rest some players. So 20 watts out for long. Cole's coming in for Hasty. O'Hara's coming in for Polworth. We're going to give Dunn a chance over Lamey at centre-back. O'Donnell comes back for his suspension. He replaces Grimshaw. And Scott Fox, a guy that has made, hasn't made any appearances this season, is going to come into goals because he's actually 64 rating. It's actually not that, it's not that much worse than Carson, so he's going to come in. I mean, this team should be good enough to beat Ross County. I'll be fucking disappointed if they ain't. Oh, yes, there we go. Playing through. It's Defante Cole. On the uh, right wing, playing him for a change, and his pace is phenomenal, and he just... <laughs> Jesus Christ, maybe we need to play the fan de Cole more. Certainly can't be playing him up front a lot because of Tony Watt, but uh, maybe we need to find a spot from one of these wings, because he's just... <laughs> just gave us an easy goal here over Ross County, and Ross County defence couldn't do anything. The fan de Cole smashing it in, giving us a 1-0 lead here, and Dingwall in the opening couple of minutes. Donnelly, oh, O'Donnell, oh man, who is that long? He was bitching and moaning to get put in the team. We, we bring him in instead of Tony Watt and he really should double our lead there. Just doesn't really connect with that after a great cross for O'Donnell. And we're on the sidelines looking pissed in our beige trousers. No wonder, should be 2-0. Oh, great save for Scott Fox. We brought him in and he's, 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 game, he's made it worth my while already, I tell you that. I was half expecting Ross County to equalise there. And now we're on the counter. Can we maybe go 2-0 ahead? Good boy to Seedorf. 
See Dorothy sees Lang making the run this time. Lang, oh, misses it again. Ball in. If Andy Cole's there, we can't get it in Ross County. Clear it away. Oh, well, that's a good goal. Uh, give Ross County credit there. They've actually done his in. He controls it pretty well with the first time pass and then smashed it in. Some wee ginger guy. Come on, Scott Fox. How are you, how you conceding a goal to him? Come on. You need to come back now. 1-1. One, one. Well, who is that? Is that Russell Cook? Because he's fucking put us on the uh, the barbecue and cooked us well through there. He's burnt us. I think not Russell Cook, it's, it's Charles Cook. And uh, either way, we now trail. We're trailing. How the hell is this happening? Trailing against Ross County after defeating Celtic. I mean, they cannot allow this to happen. We cannot allow this to happen. Come on, Cole. Let's go, it's Cole. Cole, yeah, no, long, what's he doing? He's not starting again. He is not starting again. Here we go, Seedorf. Carroll, opportunity here. Ah, oh, for Kohara. Loses out, now you go, full, half to full time. Better not be full time. We better be winning at full time, it's half time. Ross County have got the lead. Oh, damn it, Aberdeen are winning. Celtic are winning. We really need to get back in front here to keep up the pressure on our, the teams around us. Right, here we go. We're going to go two up front, guys. We're just going for it. We ain't fucking wasting time here. We need to get the win. So, bringing on Tony Watt. We'll play him and Long up front and see what can happen. I actually know what we're going to do. We're, bring, we're going to bring on Hasty for Long. He's just done nothing in this first half. And we'll put Hasty out in the right. Cole up front. And we've got Tony Watt and Cole up front. And Dream Team up front, man. Cannot lose this match, surely. What? Cool. Oh, yeah, no, come on. Who's through there? I don't know how we haven't scored. Donnelly then, with the corner, whipping it in. It's Gallagher, he hits it. Oh, he bounces off the ground and goes over. How? How is that no one in? Here we go. Cool. Well, oh, it's brilliant stuff, it's Stefan De Cole. Oh, that, that, that's quality, that is absolute quality, that's play from a team that could maybe even win the league if Rangers begin to bottle it, then we will be there with Cole scoring goals like that, but I mean the build up was great, the play was great, and it's a great goal, and we are closing in guys on a win here, I feel it, I can feel it in my bones, we are going to get this third goal, and we are going to get a winner. Here we go, it's O'Donnell. Steven O'Donnell. Oh, he's trying to slide it past the goalkeeper. Probably not the best option. Corner though, Donnelly. Can we get an all good delivery? It's in towards the Fante Cole. He jumps, doesn't get it. Back to Steven O'Donnell. And he can't get his cross in, but he might win as a corner, or maybe not. Oh, falls for O'Hara. O'Donnell. Good delivery, and it's there, it's cool! Oh man, the keeper pulls off an amazing save. O'Donnell cannot whip a much better ball than that into the box. I mean, Cole has to score. Goalkeeper saves it with his nutsack, so... Jesus Christ. Better using his balls than his hands. Can we deliver something good for this corner? It's headed down, and it's nowhere near goal, is it? Oh well, I mean, Gallagher... Jesus Christ, he takes out the Ross County guy. He certainly wasn't going to let him score for that. Ball comes in. It's headed away. Probably should have did better. It's an off throw in now for Ross County. Oh, it takes a deflection. No, and it's a good save for Scott Fox. Go Campbell then. Brings it down. Campbell on the run. Has to try and find Cole. He finds Cole, and it's Cole. To Polworth. To Tony Watt. Tony Watt, obviously. Oh, Tony Watt! What? 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 It's Tony Watt. Tony fucking Watt, man. What a guy. I'm going to get a picture frame of Tony Watt on my wall. I mean, this guy just cannot miss. Glenn's vodka, guys. That's what we'll be drinking tonight. Thanks to Tony Watt. He's secured all three points here. I feel like he has anyway. 
and we didn't take it first chance, we thought we'd get a better chance, lovely wee turn and boom, finesses it in, boom, pick it out goalie, pick it out, so 11th goal this season, something like 12, I mean there you go, O'Donnell going on his own now, just running down, let's see if we can run the clock down, 2 minutes to go, Stephen O'Donnell is going to go to the corner flag here, and he will win us a throw in, so a minute to go, not a lot of time left, the board's coming up, Ollie Shaw's coming on for Draper, I mean Ross County are going for it, but there's just not enough time left, you feel. And that was poor, that was awful for FC Seedorf. Now, speaking of time, Ross County might have a bit of time fix that mistake. Two minutes added, they need to get it up, they need to get it up. Oh, and they've lost it, they cannot afford to do that, we've slid in, we've not got it either, Ross County get it back, 40 seconds. Yeah, the time's up, the time is up, I mean, he has to blow the whistle. Time is up. I mean, I don't know how the referee's not blowing here, the fucking time is well up. And the referee just has enough, he's like, you're boring me now. Piss off, Ross County, I'm going to blow the whistle, and that's exactly what he does. At 4 minutes and 38 seconds, and we've defeated Ross County here in Dingwall by 3 goals to 2. Took the lead, we're looking good. For some reason we conceded two goals, our arse dropped, and then we thought, you know what, we need to come back, guys. We did come back 14 shots to Ross County's four. Complete domination in the end. Could have won by a hell of a lot more, but you know what, we'll take the 3-2 win. It's three points. They all count. Aberdeen have won, Celtic have won, but thankfully St. Johnson have drew, so I believe we go above them now. That should be enough to put us into fourth place. And there you go, that win is enough to move us ahead of St. Johnson now. So... We're on 30 points after 18 games, and we're beginning to look pretty good here. Still three behind Aberdeen, still eight behind Celtic, but we're in a position where we can challenge those guys if they slip up. We're coming to the end of December. I'm not too sure how many games we've left before the new year. I think it's just one. No, it's actually two. So we've oh, so we play. Oh my God, these two, these next two games are going to be massive. We'll play St Johnson, who are just one point behind us. Then we play Aberdeen, who are three points ahead of us. The next episode's going to be insane. Two big games. And if we win them both, what a position we will be in, guys. Anyway, that is going to do it. We'll quickly check the uh, the top goal scorers here before we go. Because I'm interested to see where exactly Tony Watt is. And there you go. It's Tony Watt, then, who is top of the, uh, the scoring charts level with Kent. But look at that. Tony Watt's played six games less. So that is phenomenal. You'd like to think that if he played those six games more, he would definitely have more than 12 goals. Well, he's averaging more than a goal a game, so, I mean, that just shows you how good he's playing. I mean, Jesus Christ, those stats speak for themselves. Kent's doing really well as well, though. Edwards on a pretty good season. Pittman from Livingston and Nisbet from Hibernian are also doing uh, pretty good there. Defante Cole, another player from Motherwell, who is having a good season. Nine goals in 14 games is still an impressive return, even though it's not quite the 12 and 11 that Tony Watts delivering. But anyway guys, that's that. Hopefully Tony Watt can deliver them in the next episode when we take on the teams around us, Aberdeen and St. John's. And that'll do it for the next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and comment down below guys. The Tony Watt show is alive and it is real and it is fucking going to be awesome. Into it? Aye, five stars, yes. Till next time, peace.